Just got off work. Uh, it's about 11, a little after 11, heading down to Florida to uh, check on our condo in Fort Myers uh, to see what happened after Hurricane Irma came through. Just want to make sure there's not too much uh, wind damage or uh, anything that we need to get taken care of. So uh, hopefully everything's fine and it'll just be a good, uh, fun trip. So the drive to Indianapolis that uh, Friday morning was just amazing. The sky was blue, the uh, trees were green, the weather was perfect, and uh, not a whole lot of traffic before we got to uh, Bloomington. After Bloomington the traffic picked up a little bit, but it wasn't long before we arrived at the airport. Um, I just love the uh, Indianapolis airport. Uh, it's great to get around. You can get anywhere. They have a few non-stop flights every day to southwestern Florida and it's just a just a great place so I arrived in uh, Punta Gorda Florida and uh, then headed down to uh, Fort Myers which is about 30 minutes south I got to Reflections Lake uh, where our condo is and I decided to tour around the city and look at uh, some of the damage from Hurricane Irma uh, as you can see most of the building and structures were all fine there were some temporary structures that were damaged uh, there was a lot of landscaping and trees down, light posts that had been tipped over. Um, but uh, the, the main thing was uh, trees. Uh, one of my favorite places in Fort Myers is Lakes Park. And that park, the whole entire park, uh, was closed. And there were signs uh, saying no trespassing because of all the trees down and the cleanup uh, that was underway. Uh, just every road you would drive uh, down in Fort Myers, there was lots of tree uh, damage and things that were were down. It's going to be weeks and weeks, if not months, of a cleanup. But that effort is well underway. And this is uh, Ford and Edison Winter Estates, and they had a lot of damage uh, there as well. Around Fort Myers, there's a lot of big uh, vacant lots. Um, and it looks like they were bringing all the debris there and then loading it up into big trucks and semis and, uh, and taking it out. Well, my main purpose for coming down to Florida this weekend was to check out the condo. And uh, after Hurricane Irma came through on September 10th, uh, but the condo is great. The biggest thing we were worried about was our patio furniture maybe sliding into the... Uh, um, sliding glass door there but the patio furniture stayed in place um, everything's perfect um, so we kind of lucked out there yeah everything uh, everything looks great the kitchen area uh, looks perfect too we kind of lucked out there the refrigerator even though the power was off for a few days we didn't have anything uh, in there that was uh, gonna get bad and so uh, that was perfect I'll throw some of these condiments away, but uh, that all is wonderful. Uh, the freezer stuff looked good as well. So just a great. So since uh, not really any damage, just going to be a fun, uh, fun weekend. Hey, good morning. I'm at uh, JetBlue Park, also called Fenway South here in Fort Myers. They're, they're getting ready to have a 5K, so I decided to run that. So uh, let's see how we do. JetBlue Park in uh, Fort Myers is a spring training home to the uh, Boston Red Sox. It's also known as Fenway South, and here's just some clips of the park before the 5K race began. I just finished the 5k uh, my time was about 24 10 that's about the fastest 5k I've ran in a few years the course was all flat but my goodness it is pretty humid here I gotta get some water that afternoon I decided to head down to Fort Myers Beach this is some shots of uh, Times Square I end up going to Sunset Beach a restaurant which is right on the golf Fort Myers Beach has a lot of wonderful restaurants uh, down in that area especially by the pier um, they were having an island hopper festival there was a lot of upcoming singers and songwriters from the Nashville area 
uh, that were having a festival there that whole entire week. And so that afternoon I sat around uh, several different restaurants and watched uh, a lot of the music. And here's just some clips of that. Some things just ain't meant to play. Courage is a virtue that is hard for us to find. This group is not part of Island Hopper Festival, but they're down in Times Square uh, every weekend and they put on a good show. I then went up to the Yucatan to see some other artists. And then to the Pierside Grill and Bar. and then finish the night at Nervous Nelly's. The next morning I got up and went to church and after that I headed out to Fort Myers Country Club to play 18 holes of golf. I had never played this before, it's a Donald Ross course and it was a, it was a great layout. Uh, they're also celebrating their 100 year uh, anniversary. That afternoon I headed up to Miramar Outlet to do some shopping and then the next day it was back to the airport to head back to Indy. Again it was a beautiful flight. I love sitting by the window seat and looking out as, uh, as the plane is uh, traveling. About halfway, or excuse me, about a half an hour before we landed in uh, Indianapolis, we flew over Louisville, Kentucky, and then right down to downtown Indy. It was a nice, smooth flight. It was great to be back in uh, Indianapolis, but uh, I miss Florida already.